I'm just gonna start it brand new right here. Anytime you give it a complex task, ask me three questions that will enhance your response quality before we begin. How many hours per day? Seven hours a week. I'm just hypothetically at AGB from six to three, Monday through Saturday. And it'll start with some bullshit. Right now it's trying to give me a straight up study plan. Just off rip. But this form right here is also what I would put in the chat GPT. So this is exactly, I'm talking about down to the minute, bro. This is how the classes and the champions lectures are broken down. So you take this qualifying real estate course approval form, download it. So to begin by analyzing this course is a total of 1500 minutes. You should use the section minutes to total ratio as a gauge for the level of understanding and comprehension for the given topic. That way it imitates what the teacher's gonna be really doubling down on in class. Cause that's where I fucked up with the book was I was trying to learn all of this shit equally, right? When realistically FHA contributions is the least important part of this entire section. Yeah. So when you tell the GPT to structure your 1500 minute lecture by the ratio of each section right here, it'll know, okay, I need to get really, really specific with the form residential appraisal reports, but then request for VOD and eh, you give it the book too. So it has all the book terminology and the book sections and subsections for that course. So it pulls that information straight from the book and it outlines it, how they want you to know it, what they want you to know, and then the words they want you to use. Just input and output. Exactly. The way I had this set up was for real estate finance, for example, I had this on a Saturday, Sunday block. So I would start this on Monday or okay. Sunday, like Sunday night. I would, I would go through this and then we will make a crash course for five days. I have my course exam Sunday. I want to say there might be a cap so you might have to split the document in two yeah but that's an easy workaround really comes in clutch when you take your, your national and your state exam because the thing I ran into is I could only take these practice tests once or twice before I, it got to a point where I was just learning the right answer. I would just be like, this question is A, this question is C, this question is D, whatever. But then you can have it make your own practice exams and you can have the same level of difficulty as the exam practice questions in your prep book. Yeah. I want this level of detail, this level of accuracy, this level of, of question complexity but make an entirely new practice test. I don't want it to replicate any of the same concepts that are in this practice test, only the information as a whole. So it's like teaching you what you need to know for their course. It's kind of like college. You pay for them to, to teach you the course and they make their money on teaching their courses. They don't yeah. make their money if you pass the national or state exam. Yeah. And this is the cheeky part. This is gonna give you like a crash course outline, but you want it to teach you the information. Okay. Right? Day by day too. I put in the exact date of my first class. It's giving me a whole plan. Yeah, it gets you right. So then explain. There you go. So it, it'll even tell you how to make the chunk maps in here too. Yeah. And then you take this right here and you can have it expand on all this. Shit. So once it's done, This is all information that's in this book. There you go. Do all this before class. Luckily, I did this to get ready for my first in-person class, right? 
And it was at that class where I realized these people did what I did that first time and they tried to read the entire book and then they were getting everything taught to them correctly during that weekend, but it's just a huge knowledge download. I would do this for an hour a day, bro. And then come Saturday, I'm just going over the sections that I already spent an hour every day learning. What code are you inputting here? So I just tell it to give me the chunk map for Plantum. Okay. I did this by hand in my row, right? But I found out about this website probably two months ago. I'll write that down then. And this is a cool part. If it gives you an error code on Plantum, you can tell GPT, I got this error code. How can I correct it? Boom. Yep. Straight from the textbook, straight from the textbook. Then when you're in class, they're going to go over it in this order. I can guarantee you it's one of the questions is going to be, what are the five characteristics of real estate that are beneficial to homeowners? But then you also have it right here. If you just scroll up, it's all right here. So you can go over and you can either save this mind map right here and, and draw over it in your notes or make it in your notes, or you can just make your own by hand. But the whole thing with, with chunk mapping is there's no way where I can see national factors and I won't see these three right here. It's all about associative learning. That's the biggest thing with these real estate courses because they pull a lot of the information. I want to say it's 87%. Your promulgated contracts course book is in every single textbook. So how can you see that coming next time? If you were to do it again, how would you be able to see it coming? What I mean by that is you made a mistake. You wasted your time. Yeah. How would you know not to waste your time? Doing principles one and two first because that gives you the overview. Yeah. Right? Even honestly, I might do promulgated contracts first and then principles one and two. Okay. So if you learn that on the front end, then you're just doing recall. And then you have synapses in your brain going off of all the associated tasks and terms that you already learned in that course. So just by learning that, that book first, you already know the bulk of your next, what is it? Three classes, because not including principles one and two. Yeah, because repetition is normal. Yeah. You know, repetition is how we get great. I'd probably say the most beneficial thing with this, instead of thinking of it as a search engine and being like, what's the right answer? You have this work with you. Be like, hey, I had something come up. I got a flat tire. I have to go to Jiffy Lube for three or four hours. What's the best way to study at Jiffy Lube only using my phone? They did that for me at work one time where I, I was supposed to make flashcards. I said, I straight up said, I can't make flashcards today. What is a better way to understand this information for my recall and cognition? And it had me write an essay about FHA loan, Fannie Mae, and VA loans. And it gave me writing prompts that it made me differentiate all three of those. They gave me questions to ask myself. I was in the class and then I had independent learning in my head that they weren't teaching. So it's the same information that's in the book, but it will pull outside sources of learning structures and implement it into the textbook. So then when you're in the class, you're in this in a way that works for me already. And then now having a human tell me again, like you said, repetition. Now I'm having another person tell me hands-on their version of remembering this. You're not sculpting from scratch. It's like you already baked it and they're just adding in the detail, adding in like the little spin on it. Yeah, so I you, call it reinforced repetition. And it's an app on the phone now. That's the crazy part. You can do this shit on your cell phone. You don't even need to be near your laptop. If there's a certain thing that you know works for you from, from your school experience or life experience, like if you know that you do better making Cornell notes, how to make you Cornell notes. You don't have to do this mind mapping thing, but did this is what I know works for me and for other people, which is why I put that in that document. I think about it in extremes, right? If I can only study in one format, in one way for the rest of my life, what's gonna work for me? It's this shit right here. Well, I see this as a routine. Let's say mm. you wake up, you do the same shit every day. You have a base time. This is the same thing. Mm -hmm. It's giving you information and in a route or order that you need to learn it. So I think it's the best way possible. It doesn't matter how someone learns, they're all gonna learn like this at the end of the day. If you want to break, expand on it in your notes, this is the bubble right here, represents the total number of residential properties in the US. Acronym for real estate, Optus. This is straight up a question in the f test. They're going to ask you in that class, what are the mortgage lending activities? They're going to ask that shit straight up. If you just remember OLUCSF, boom. I like the acronyming. Mm -hmm. It helps. It helps, bro. Like you said, if you like the acronyms, you can have it do that for every section going forward. I want every section to have acronyms for the information sources that I need to know. Okay.
Because the one in the textbook, they give you like a 17 question practice exam in the textbook. If you just do those same 17 questions over and over and over again, you're gonna hit a wall to where you're just you're just remembering the order of right and wrong and not so much the information. Yeah. And then the other thing is that you have the same chat by then, like yourself and this GPT has gotten so regimented on, on how you learn. So then when it's time for your, your state exam, like analyze our chat history and make a conducive study plan that is tailored to my weak points to get me ready for the state exam. I don't know if Trek still has it up right now too. This is another thing. Look, this is a national test. And this is the state test right here. These are average scores or? This is the means, the max score, everything. So you can take this. It gauges you as far as what people are, are really not understanding and what they are kind of understanding, et cetera. Like for example, where you see 60% on mm -hmm. average in one of those categories. Yep. It will test you more thoroughly on the 60% part. Exactly. Yes. So you have all these data sets this topic reports you have your textbook and then you have these course forms bro it's impossible to fail with yeah. with those three together and you can expand on this too. flashcards mind maps quizzes and checklists so i can just go in order and i won't forget anything mm -mm. every step i need is generated from a click Mm-hmm. Okay. And you can have it rework it. Let's see if I can go back. It's kind of like a like a map. These two for two, it's like two different trails. So you can go back to your, your previous conversation that I just gave it right there. And then you can pivot, go back to what I asked you for the second time. And it has it all right here. I look at how I took this. It's once I found this document. That's when I can make it a game. I was like, okay, I need 150 minutes of study time. You know what I'm saying? So if I wanted to front load all that, like if I, if I had two days off during the week and I wanted to take those two days to just do this, that way the next five days I could get home from work and play Roblox, I got my minutes in. It works on your schedule. Yeah, it's just budgeting. I'd be in class just like this. Like my laptop would be open, my iPad would be open, I'd go over my notes. And everyone around me would highlight rereading it and be like, okay, I'll, like, I'm already looking trying at Trying to keep up. With, it's a problem. It's a problem when you need to keep up. You're there to learn, not to play cat and mouse. So definitely useful. Changes your way of thinking, that's for sure. This, it's very hard to overexert yourself. We just went over 200 and what, two, 300 minutes of information in like 30 minutes. Yeah. But it would have to go through all of this in the textbook right now. We'd, we'd probably still be on this section right here. Going in the textbook, finding it. Yeah. Trying to learn it, write it Going down. Going back page to page, physically. Exactly. It's not fun. Tap to tab. You lose a lot of information doing that. Yeah. It makes all the differences. One step. Mm -hmm. And then when it's time for your test, bro, you have that tab pulled up. It can recall all the books. It has all six of your books hard loaded and it has your learning experience with it. Businesses and people right now that are ignoring this kind of tool, all they're doing is like they're walking away from it and they're just walking themselves into a path to be hunted by it. Part of the reason why I'm so fluent with GPT now is because I spent 1500 hours for six different courses using ChatGPT for that one thing. Time is everything. Once you lose it, never get it back. Right. I'm just tired of losing time, you know? I've yeah. lost so much time. I've lost years. That's how I felt with it when I started this. I wasted three years in college, bro. Like, I'm not wasting more time trying to learn real estate now. I got to get on the roll. Yeah, and you did. I appreciate it. Seriously. Let's go. It's always good learning something. That's why I, I just had some feeling in my mind to call you when I signed up for the course. I was, like, I was like, what is this guy doing with this course? <laughs> I see him posting all these videos. Like, what the f***? Like, let me find out what's going on. That's real. And I found out what's going on. And I'm going to use what was going on for myself. Yeah, because especially now, bro, you're at a better advantage than I was. Like, I learned this firsthand, but you're learning it where you're at a, a more complex level with the machine. And I'm here to guide you through it. You have any questions about this? Shit, send me a text. Like ultimately, I see you, you're going to be better at this than I was. Because I have the jump. Yeah, exactly. You have the yeah. jump. That's what I was telling Larry too. Larry did finish. Yeah. He finished fast. Exactly. He finished faster than I did. He had the format. You had to go through and fail and take losses in order to create the format for others.